So guys, in this video, we will be talking about the cPanel alternative. Those who have already worked with websites, you know, you should know what cPanel is. But for starters, cPanel is the basic uh, set of settings for a domain or a website. So for Ubuntu, it's not directly available, but there's a third party, namely Jessly. So all you have to do is go to the given link below, copy the given command, and just right click on the terminal window, which we have opened via Putty. And yeah, it will take approximately 10 to 12 minutes to install. And once you have installed this, there should be a page with your uh, domain DNS ID and your username should be root. And you will be waiting for it to happen. Well, we are waiting. Well, it will take time, of course. And this is an amazing tool because cPanel is not really available for custom servers and it would make really difficult to install WordPress or something via direct coding you know this is just really really simple so I am really grateful for the developer of Jessle I am not sure if I am pronouncing it correct but yeah uh, what you have to do is just uh, make an account in Jessle because you will be needing it after we have installed Jessly on our server so yep here I make my account real quick and don't worry guys it uh, takes time it takes approximately 10 to 15 minutes no doubt in that because for the first time even I got worried that why is it taking so long and yeah here is the screen as you can see uh, there will be a login so just paste it like I have done it in a notepad and here you have to go to the site as you can see uh, your connection is not perfect just advance and proceed because it is not an HTTPS and login for the username you have to use root and to get the password you have to type sudo sudo passwd I repeat sudo passwd and just type the password and it will ask you to type the new password just whatever you want to do I typed in hashtag and just save it for later use you know login and password just save it in the word file itself so yeah my password is lullan123 and here I type root uh, root should be small of course password ok I have entered the wrong uh, let me cancel my caps yeah now it should work as you can see in logged in you have to enter your name your email address registered with the Jessle website and your user id so you can get the user id from the link below it will redirect you to the Jessle website where it is only the very first option you can just copy as you can see uh, copy and paste it here and now next setting it's as simple as that as you can see our server is up and running you will get all the information about the server now configure the server and you have to type in the domain address email first then ns1 dot whatever your domain is and in the address bar you have to type the dns address and in this case it should be 3.7.70.28 but sorry guys i just forgot uh, to edit this step hope you guys understand s2 dot your domain dot com and i think we are done for here and just start all the services if you can't find and after 24 to 48 hours once the mailchimp has redirected your domain just wait for their email don't do anything now and after they have done that uh, you have to come to this dashboard and add a user 
just be careful guys uh, first you have to make sure that your domain is redirected like in the part 1 of this video i have told you to feedback and email them to redirect and we have created a user here and now we will add a domain it's pretty simple okay so we are setting up the you uh, we have added the domain here and set and our domain is set so okay now let me go to my main account where i have actually created everything and i have already done the setup so uh, by the way this is this one this uh, the thing we have done this and yeah you can install wordpress by a single click email and username app and username password uh now just keep in uh, keep in mind that this app username and app password will be used to log in for the wordpress so you ha really have to save all the passwords you know and please use different password for every single page and it's as simple as that wordpress is installed on your web server now yeah it's installed and easy now this is my actual website and even if your domain you have to type your domain .com and slash wp dash admin to log into your WordPress and yep you will be asked for a username and password I have already entered it so it didn't ask me and your WordPress is installed you can literally do anything you want hope you guys enjoyed it hit the like button if you do thanks for watching.